Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 1st April 2019. I am recording it before market open on Monday. I am Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company or its trading systems and products, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we will look at oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to align their direction with the market's direction. We'll study markets direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market breadth and technical analysis of market ETFs. In addition to aligning our trades with the markets direction, we like to align them with the industry strength. We'll study industry rotation using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may look at some of the recent trade ideas shared in our traders forum. If I don't do that, you may visit our traders forum from our website homepage. It is open to the public. These provide great examples of applying Q360 degrees technique to identify trades at the right edge of the chart. And we'll also try to look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis using oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together we call this at a glance template because this is the template that you can use to decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, since displaying the bullish headwind reversal signal at the very bottom, oil is steadily going up. This week's candle color and shape both are bullish. Price is being supported by memory trend line support. USO is maintaining its bullish backdrop color, cyan color for many weeks. In the daily chart, it is going up. Price is being supported by multiple memory support lines. On Friday, we had a cyan color candle that is bullish. Price was too close to the upper boundary level for us to take any new long trade. If you entered a long trade in oil earlier, you may continue to hold the partial position. Gold ETF GLD. In the previous market roundup, I had observed that though the gold ETF went up for three successive weeks, the backdrop candle color in the weekly chart was magenta. Looking at that, I suggested that we would not be taking any long position in gold. In the daily chart, after Going below the lower boundary level, price had recovered. However, looking at the weekly backdrop candle color, we were not going to take any long trade. That was useful analysis because this week gold dropped sharply. On this day, it displayed a magenta color candle in the daily chart. At that time, the weekly was already magenta color. 
Therefore, you could take this magenta color candle in the daily chart as a signal for trend following short trade setup. Go with flow short trade setup. You would enter the trade at the close of this magenta candle, putting stop just above recent high. As price fell on Thursday and Friday, the short trade covered more than risk distance and you would book at least partial profit. As the weekly and daily both ended with very bearish shape and also bearish color, in this case you would have no reason to book full profit. You would book partial profit with discipline and continue to hold partial position with trailing stop trying to let profit run. From commodities analysis we move on to market breadth analysis. We are looking at NASDAQ Composite Index and NYSE Composite Index both using weekly charts along with three pairs of internals, new high low, advanced decline and up down volume. Because this analysis is using broad indices and longer term weekly interval, you may use this for longer term investment decisions and also for swing trading but not for day trading. In the weekly chart, both NASDAQ and NYSE recovered significantly from their respective lows. However, in the recent few weeks, it is practically moving sideways. That is more evident in the NYSE chart. NYSE also has a nearby memory resistance line. Both NYSE and NASDAQ are at price extreme high even in the weekly charts and NASDAQ is overbought. This is showing that though NASDAQ and NYSE are bullish in an uptrend, you may avoid buying stocks that are fundamentally overvalued or technically overbought. What about the internals? The internals ended in the positive this week. All the six internals went up, they closed above zero as well. After market breadth, we look at the market using the market ETFs. We start with the S&P 500 ETF SPY. The weekly chart is displaying a pattern similar to that of NYSE broad index. It is moving practically sideways for several weeks. In the daily chart also it is moving sideways though it is in an overall uptrend. You can know that from the existence of multiple memory support lines and absence of any memory resistance line. In fact, in the previous webinars, I had noticed that other than Russell 2000 ETF, IWM, all the other three ETFs, SPY, QQQ and DIA, all were and are still in uptrend, all supported by memory support lines. NASDAQ 100 ETF, QQQ, this is more bullish than NYSE, the weekly backdrop, candle color and shape, both are bullish. In the daily chart, price is going up in an uptrend, it is supported by memory support lines. Friday's candle is bullish, however it is too close to the upper boundary level for us to take any long trade. Dow Jones Industrial ETF, DIA. Here the weekly candle color is neutral, unlike QQQ. QQQ backdrop weekly candle color is cyan, bullish. DIA is yellow, neutral. SPY was also yellow, neutral. In the weekly chart, DIA is also moving practically sideways for four weeks now. 
that sideways movement is visible in the daily chart also. It is inside a triangle pattern bound by both resistance memory at the top and support memory at the bottom. Because it is inside a triangle pattern, Q traders would avoid taking any swing trade in DIA right now. Russell 2000 ETF IWM. Here also the weekly candle color, backdrop candle color is neutral, yellow, similar to SPY and DIA. However, it is weaker than all the other ETFs. This has a memory resistance line in the weekly chart and it also has memory resistance in the daily chart. There is no memory support line. Therefore, technically IWM is the only ETF that is in a downtrend. If you combine the outcome of the market breadth analysis with the result of the market ETF analysis, what do you find out? You can see that the market is still bullish, however it is losing momentum. Several of the ETFs and also NYAC, broad market index, are effectively either moving sideways or inside a triangle pattern like DIA, SPY is moving sideways and IWM is actually in a downtrend. Though market is bullish, this is not the best time to buy stocks, especially you may avoid buying stocks that are fundamentally overvalued. You can find that out easily using Q Vital or technically overbought. That you can find out easily using the Q overbought oversold indicator that is stretch indicator on Q charts. That is the conclusion you arrive at from the market level analysis. However, market level is very broad. When you drill down into the sector level and further into the industry level, then look at stocks fundamentals and technicals, you are always able to find trade ideas where the industry strength or weakness, fundamental strength or weakness and technical strength or weakness are all aligned together, giving you high probability low risk trades. We call this 360 degree trades. One month sector performance analysis. We are looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods. The red bar represents performance of this week. Green bar performance of one week before and the blue bar performance of two weeks before the green bar. Together they represent one month of sector performance. Any bar coming to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up and any bar coming to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down. This week 10 of the 11 sectors went up showing the bullishness of the market at the sector level. Utilities is the only sector that declined. Here is another look at the sectors using the sector scorecard and heat map. Here we are looking at the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 days, 5 days, etc. This table represents the sector scorecard and heat map and the last column here, PACE column, represents sector acceleration or deceleration. Strength is shown by cyan color and weakness is shown by magenta color. What are the strongest sectors now? They are consumer discretionary and industrials, also financials. Out of them, financials was very weak earlier with the worst possible score of 1 and now it improved in score a lot. That is also reflected in the acceleration column, pace column. It is the most accelerating sector now. You may look for buying opportunities in financials. What about the weak sectors? These are healthcare, communication services and utilities. 
utilities was strong for a long time now it is weak the weakest sector of all and it decelerated heavily it is the most decelerating sector as well therefore you may look for shorting opportunities in utility stocks at minimum you may book or protect profit in any long position you may have best performing industries of this way we are looking at these industries 5 days and 10 days scores in q360 degree technique we look for highest probability trades genuine highest probability trades that means we are not only looking for a technical trade setup but we are going to look for buy setups only in stocks that are in strong industries and also the stocks that are fundamentally strong we call that 360 degrees technique following that approach we are going to look for only buying opportunities from these best performing industries and avoid shorting we saw just now that consumer discretionary is the best performing sector now and that strength is very obvious from the best performing industries eight of the ten best performing industries are in consumer discretionary sector these are automotive retail apparel retail apparel accessories and luxury goods textiles motorcycle manufacturers automobile manufacturers footwear and general merchandise stores very strong sector lot of strong industries in consumer discretionary next step would be to look for fundamentally strong stocks that may give low risk technical buy setup back to q edge we can see consumer discretionary is the best performing sector it has the best possible score of 11 under 5 day strength column if we look at the best performing industries of this week, these are shown by cyan color under 5 days column. We find a lot of them in consumer discretionary. 8 of the 10 best performers are in consumer discretionary. Apparel, accessories and luxury goods immediately catches attention not only because it is strong this week but it was weak earlier that is shown by the magenta color score in earlier periods which is gradually steadily turning into strength cyan color we can drill down into the underlying stocks to find fundamentally strong stocks when we drill down you find several stocks that are optimally valued the optimally valued stocks are shown by cyan color score under valuation column mov is one of them it has great valuation and if you look at the latest quarter earnings growth the earnings growth is positive and it is increasing from the previous quarter therefore earnings growth is accelerating it also pays a dividend of 2.2% has great earnings quality the earnings quality is in cyan color also has a short squeeze potential shown by cyan color under short squeeze column this week it went up by 14.9% let's look at the chart to see if it can give a low risk buying opportunity in coming days move mov using q at a glance template in the weekly chart after displaying the bullish headwind reversal signal it is steadily going up the bullish headwind in the weekly chart could catch the very bottom this week price went up sharply with very heavy activity 
and also extreme bullish pressure in the weekly chart. It tried to go above the memory resistance line, however pulled back. Closed significantly higher from previous week's close but has a long upper tail in the weekly chart. In the daily chart, it was moving in a range bound fashion, bound by resistance watermark at the top and support watermark and also support memory at the bottom. On Thursday, after earnings results came out, it had a big gap up open and continued to go up after that. On Friday, price pulled back. Thursday, we had an extreme bullish pressure up day. Friday had an extreme bullish, not bullish, Friday had an extreme bearish pressure down day. However, Friday's candle color is remaining green. That is the traffic light candle color is remaining green, bullish. Weekly candle color, backdrop candle color is cyan, bullish. It has broken out of the sideways range. Now, if it continues to go up again, you may look for a low risk buying opportunity. Here, the industry is strong. Fundamentally, the stock is strong. If the stock goes up now, you may use either daily chart or intraday Q fine tune chart to look for low risk buy points. That will give you a 360 degree trade where you will have low risk technical entry point in a stock that is fundamentally strong and the industry is strong as well. Worst performing industries of this week. These are 10 of the worst performers. Like you will look for buying opportunities in best performing industries. You will look for shorting opportunities in worst performing industries. And you will avoid in buying into these industries right now. I will not drill down into these industries today. You may drill down to find fundamentally weak stocks either overvalued or decreasing earnings growth, negative earnings growth and then further look for low risk short points on Q technical charts. That will give you Q360 degree short trade ideas. Accelerating industries, these industries might be behind others but are gaining momentum. Using Q360 degrees technique, you will look for buying opportunities here and avoid shorting. In a bullish market, the accelerating industries often end up being the best performing industries in subsequent weeks. Using Q360 degree techniques, you will drill down, look for fundamentally strong stocks that are giving low risk buy points. In Q8, the accelerating industries are shown by cyan color under the paste column. These are the industries that are gaining momentum fast. And some of them are already strong now, like textile, regional banks, motorcycle manufacturers, etc. And some of them are not strong yet, but are accelerating like life and health insurance. Normally, when you drill down, you are able to find out low risk buy points in fundamentally strong stocks in these industries. However, this week is somewhat different. I drill down into several of these industries like textiles, regional banks, motorcycle manufacturers, life and health insurance, as well as automobile manufacturers. And I didn't find any easy buy opportunity in any of these industries. That is fundamentally strong, giving me a technical buy point using a Q trade setup in any of these industries. That is little bit unusual. That is giving me 
some reason for being cautious and not keep on buying more and more stocks even if the market is going up right now. Decelerating industries, these were strong earlier but now they are weakening. If you are holding long position in any of these industries, you may book profit or protect profit and also look for shorting opportunities. At the sector level, we saw that utilities is the worst performing sector as well as the most decelerating sector. That weakness is shown at the industry level also. Four of the most decelerating industries are in utility sector. These are gas utilities, water utilities, electric utilities and multi-utilities. You may be careful if you are holding long positions in these industries, book or protect profit and also may look for shorting opportunities. In QH, the decelerating industries are shown by magenta color under paste column. There are several utilities among the most decelerating industries. We saw gold as a commodity fell down and gold miners also weakened. It is one of the most decelerating industries. Hyper market and super centers also decelerated. If you drill down, you will find two stocks in that industry. Out of them, Costco C O S T is overvalued, shown by magenta color under valuation column. Let's look at Costco using Q technical charts. cost code using at a glance template. In the weekly chart it is going up strongly. This week's candle color and shape both are bullish. It is overbought in the weekly chart and it is also at a price extreme high even in the weekly chart. In the daily chart it is going up strongly. After earnings it gapped up and since then steadily going up it is staying above the upper boundary level. It is overbought in the daily chart and it is at price extreme high as well. There is no short opportunity here. If you are holding a long position, you may continue to hold the long position. However, this is in a decelerating industry and the stock is overvalued. What you may do with the stock now? If the stock comes to this watermark resistance in the weekly chart, you may see if it is reversing from there or even better if it is trying to go above the watermark resistance and failing and coming down creating a false upside breakout. If that happens in the weekly chart, then you may switch to the daily chart to look for a low risk short entry opportunity. Probably a box short trade setup that is applicable in a sideways market stock or in a stock that is at a double top as it would be in case of Costco. There is no short opportunity right now. The stock is quite bullish in the technical charts. However, you may look for a shorting opportunity in case it reverses from this watermark resistance in the weekly chart. That is how by combining the industry's deceleration, stock overvaluation, you may add cost code to your watch list and if it reverses, you will be ahead of others in taking a very low risk short trade in the stock. Those were the regular topics. Let me summarize. The market is going up. Most of the ETFs are in an uptrend in longer term weekly interval. 
in the daily interval several of them are either moving sideways like SPY inside a triangle pattern like dia or even in a downtrend like IWM. NASDAQ ETF QQQ is the only one that is going up strongly. There is no bearishness in that chart. In this market, you may look for buying opportunities. The market is not bearish. However, avoid buying stocks that are fundamentally overvalued or technically overbought. You can easily find such opportunities using Q360 degrees technique. Using the same technique, you may also start looking for shorting opportunities in sectors that are weakening, like utilities. If you are holding long positions in them, at minimum you may book or protect profit. And if you are willing to short stocks, you may look for shorting opportunities as well. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session and also in the live market morning meetup that we conduct regularly. Thank you once again. Have a great week and trade profitably.